Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Madela. And on this week's episode of King of the Palace, Dan Gauthier faces the number two seed. Kevin Padgington, who you all know is no stranger to the King of the Palace, being a former king. Last week, Dan defeated Rob Richards, the number three seed. This is going to be one great match. I'm looking forward to it. Two veteran bowlers. Let's get to the action. First, the number two seed, Kevin Pappington, with a qualifying score of 383. Bowling out of Riverwalk in Amesbury, Mass, and his average is a 117. Okay, up first, lane number three, box number one, Kevin Pappington. A common occurrence on the show. Oh, a little bit wide lefted. Leaving the 13910. Didn't yeah, get the head pin. He's, he's, got some wood. Some, he's got some wood in the back. Best thing to do is hit this on the right hand side to try to push everything around. Right away, you call it. First string right there. Uh, he pit it up the left, but you know what? Same result. Nice pickup. Well, the key was he had to get he had to get the head pin. And he, he had to make contact with that head pin to spray everything around. And he did it. You call it. Come on, fall over. Oh, he's left the 710. With a lot of wood in front of that 10. You know, you know my saying, you know, you have to go to the altar, take a bow, and spray and pray. Well, the 710 better known as the railroad split. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh. oh, just barely touched that 10. And oh, they were all rocking and rolling down there. Everybody <laughs> thought he had it. Look at you, he's covering his face. That was ridiculous. How does that not make contact with that 10? Uh, Four pieces of wood spraying around and doesn't hit. He just forgot to pray. I'm telling uh, you. I, something. Every, I, every time you have that shot where you have to spray and pray, everybody forgets to pray. Up now, the returning King of the Palace champion, Dan Gauthier, bowling out of Riverwalk in Amesbury, Mass, with an average of a 118. Defending King of the Palace champion, right behind him, you could see the excellent, excellent. Signed it with put up, saying this is what's taking place. Everybody thrives for it. It's Candlepin bowling at its best. Oh, wide left, we saw that drift. Uh, he was actually shooting for, let the ball go a little bit late. He almost had a half Worcester, and he's left the one, three, and the nine with a piece of wood behind the one and the three. Makeable spare. He's got to make contact yeah. once again with the left hand side. Got to make contact with that head. Oh, no, he missed it. A little he too far it. left. Yeah, yeah, he had to get the head pin. Needed the head pin. Yep. All that's left is the finger of God. The head pin. The head pin. That's a new one on me. <laughs> oh, he's got they the 10. It up. Okay, he picked it up. Well, once again, have you impressed upon the viewers? Pin pinning, very important. Absolutely. Yep. Very, yep. very, they add up. Here and there, it does. one there, one there, it adds up. Okay, he's zeroing Pinning in here. Pinning is part of the game. He's zeroing in on alley four. Oh, he found the head pin again. Come on, four, there, there it is. Goes the five There's the goes hammer. The last one to there. That's he wrecked what we the wrecked with that ball. That's what we needed. Oh, he found it, he got it, he dropped it. Okay, Kevin up on box number three, alley number three. He's holding on to a small eight pin lead after two. Kevin with it, if you can notice, the big wind up, the big back. Oh, oh he drilled it. Punched right through Throw it. it. Left the two, four, seven, and the six with some wood up against the six just in front of it. Play it's going to be a pretty tough shot. Play the three in the left. Oh, he went for the wood. Yeah, he wanted to see if he couldn't spray it oh, around. Oh, I probably would have went for the three in the left. But that's, that's me. That's a tough that's, shot. That's a that's very Kevin. tough spare to pick up. Well, he's got the confidence he's going to take out all three for the 10. Oh, now look at that on the replay. Yeah, look. Look at everybody. Why did it that? Now, once again, the, the, the pin. Right around it. It goes right around it. Yep. Candle pin bowling. Where else? 
Uh, the greatest the sport that everybody's going to try it. Everybody should come down to the palace and try it. Oh, he's wide. He was wide right, but he's left the one, the two, and the six. One, two, uh, excuse and me, the four. One, four. Better known in Canopin Bowling as the Queen's leave. Make a ball spare. Just going to leave that leave that saying in England, man. Okay, he's got a key. Oh, no, wide right. Kevin Bowles out of Riverwalk in Amesbury. Uh, he's been bowling for about 20 years, and his high single is a 196. Yeah, excellent Candlepin bowler. Excellent there track. goes the 10. There goes the 10. Nice 10 box, Kev. Okay, shoot coming up. He's on the strike. Hopefully he gets the double. You know, what's kind of funny is, you know, on Friday nights on the Travel Pro League, you know, Shoe Bowles on the Friday Night Pro League, Kevin Paddington Bowles on the Friday Night Pro, Pro League, and this is like a little rivalry because Kevin Bowles on Riverwalk 1 and Shoe Bowles on Riverwalk 2. Oh. So they bowl out of oh. the same house but on different teams, so this is kind of a little it's bit of... I, 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 I did know? not know they were on separate teams up there. Yeah. I knew they were. He's yeah. still in the strike, and he's got Left seven the on the triangle. Left the triangle. Boy, that was a win. Six, one. nine, ten. He had seven pins up. He hit the head pin for the, for the count and only dropped four out of the seven. All right, needs this for the 10 box. Let's see how he does it. Oh, wide right. Yeah. Shu also um, co-hosts New Gen, Caleb and Bowling for use. Yeah, for the little, uh, not the little one, but the middle-aged youth up there. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah. you know. Um, Anything to promote the great sport of Caleb and Bowling. Yeah, I'm you, in you favor. can do that on Nesson and you know, you go on YouTube. It's oh. a great way to come on, come on. support the game and support our youths and hopefully someday those youths when they turn uh, like 16 or 17. They join the league. They join the league. Or they're they're the and, king of the palace. Yep. Well, for that matter, in the future, the Twin City Challenge. Well, they can come down and do the Twin City He's Challenge. Going up to a nice shot. Excuse me, David. He left the two pinner for the nice spare. The one didn't make the spare. He needed it. He wanted it. He delivered. But Dan, what all that lead away that Kevin Pe had now Kevin holding on to a two pin lead. Three. This is getting kind of tight yep. for the first match. Going into the fifth, the fifth box. Yeah, alley number three, Kevin. Well, look at that concentration. There's the big back swing. And look at this. Look at this. He's left the five, seven, five, eight, nine, ten with some wood with a pocket hit. I have no idea how that happens. How can you leave the three <laughs> back and the and the five well, pin after you hit that? He's going to hit the spray. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, Kevin thought he had it. Yep, left the eight pin. Oh, he wanted that spare. No, best best shot here is just go right at the eight. Leave yeah. that wood alone. I wouldn't even trust the wood, you're right. When you got a shot at the pin, go after the pin. And he did. He nailed it. He got the 10. Okay, he's going up to lane number four. Watch. Kevin's Kevin's high triple is uh, 481. Whoa. Yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty that, impressive. That's impressive. Absolutely. Candleton bowling, that's impressive. You know, and at any point in time, Kevin is definitely capable of doing that again. He found the head pit. A hammer. Out. Here again, and once again, the excellence of Travis Fox, Five the one and only one best producer director in the country on the replay, showing how that strike happened. I'm telling and you. He I'm hey, telling you, you, you got to be careful when you use Travis's name because his head's going to like really but he's swell. He's second to nobody. We know that. Everybody, oh, now look at this look is at what this happened. Look at this disaster. Look how did he, look at this. He takes out <laughs> three pins, the Queens leave. I, all right. What, I take out, I, this is absolutely stunning. In all, in all stunning. your knowledge, what is this disaster called? I have no idea. A disaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, how uh, can you, you know take what? out three pins? Why don't we just call it Chernobyl? Okay, Genova, fine. Eddie, you, uh, you can name it. Travis can name it. I don't mind. It. Don't I'm bother. telling you, you got to stop using his name. Oh, okay, fine. You know, some, some big wig Hollywood producer is going to well, uh, hear him, and then they're going to sweep him away. I just feel fortunate. I don't happen. know about you, but I know I do know about you. We do feel fortunate to have the best work of ours. Okay. After that, <laughs> after that very strange lead, I, I, even the scorekeeper is smiling about this one. This, is, this was... This is... How can you take all three pins out of ten in that direction? Tell me. Uh, you know, let's uh, have the rounds table discussion oh, and gosh. get it done. Oh, oh no, 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 he knew it. Uh, you know, I, oh, I'm I, telling you. You wanted. I, I forgot who you said last week. You wanted to come visit us. Einstein or something. Einstein, no, uh, not Einstein. It was like. Um, I forget. Oh, it was Rick Flair. You wanted oh Rick yeah, Flair to come down. Woo! He could come up and show us. <laughs> you know. He's got um, knowledge. I want to say a big thanks. Last week, we had in the week before, we had Dennis Nuzzo come down and, yep. and sit in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and hopefully, you know, in the near future, we'll have some more 
guest commentator good, come down good. and sit in and call some matches. After, um, six, after six we have, excuse me, David. After six, it's Kevin Padrington, 67, with two balls, and Dan Gauthier, 65. Oh, he's up good on the match. He wants Put it to this up. way. Yeah. These two are so evenly matched, matched. okay, that Shoes high single is a 199, uh, 191, excuse me, with Kevin's 196. Wow. Shoes high triple is a 464 with Kevin's at a 481. Wow. So these guys know how to throw that ball and they've been doing it for a long time. Well, he needs the four horsemen right for the spare on the strike. Oh, oh. Very curly and Shemp. Right by. Oh, right by. He had to get contact with that head pin and he just missed it, drifted left. All right, he's going to get three out of four here to get the nine box. Hopefully it's ten. Oh, ah, he cleaned nice it up. up. Now see, on the replay, he split the pins, which you've always said is the best way to do it. It doesn't They're, matter. Either that or the domino effect, right? But generally speaking, everybody I've talked to before the show and interviews and after have all said they like to split them. They think they get a better chance of making it. Okay, I think you'd agree. Yeah, I mean, you run that ball right down the ladder. Oh, right? hell no! I'm not saying anything. You don't have that, to say look anything. At, look at, oh, look at this. Look, how does that happen? How does that happen? He, replay. he just threw a Travis, strike. <laughs> Travis even put it in super slow. Oh, I know. And only Travis would think of me for that. Oh, Thank you. Nice and try. Nice spin. Oh, how does that happen, that's pretty. He threw a perfect ball once again, 60 feet, and what happens? He hits his eye. He gets penalized for it. Yep. The dreaded spread eagle. And the he comes eagle. Out. He hit the here again. He hits the head pin. Gets a beautiful first ball delivery and lands up on an eight box. How does that happen? Can a pin bowler. Yeah, that's it. Yes, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep, yep. that's it. Not enough said. <laughs> okay. Shoe's got to get it together here. Get get back on it. Let's see what happens. He's not just bowling for his crown. He's actually bowling for the kids, too. A little wide. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, he's. A little late action. Uh, yeah, come on. Well, he's got some favorable wood here. Yo, he's got the two and the ten. ten. Let's hope those two other pieces of wood get out of the way. Yeah, what do you think? Just directly right into this, this is, two? Yeah, this is going to have to be one of those shots where you might actually want to hit it on the right side of that right. two to push that wood well, all the way let's back. Let's see what happens. He hit it a little left. The replay showed it. There it is. Off the kick, kick off the sidewall. Well, yeah, there it is. Nice okay, now he wants there. to fill. He wants the big fill, no doubt about it. Put the pressure on Kevin. He wants to continue on as the king. But everybody likes no. that. He can walk down River Street, Kimball Street, we're in the crowd. Hit. Oh, now, now look at this. Look at this. He's left the 5 7 on a pocket hit on a fill. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, this is a pretty goodness. tough shot. This is a oh. heck of a cut that you have to make on this. I'm pot. playing the wood. I don't know about you. I'm playing the wood. <laughs> I'm playing the wood. See what happens. Throw it over there. What do you got to lose? No, Ooh, he went after on. it. No, he went after it. He knew what he wanted to do, no, and he well, was off. You, well, it's you up to the bowler. That's right. That, well, the, the bowler, the bowler makes the call. We go for the, the wood into the pins, or go well, for the pin. I, knowing Shu, the way he no. threw that ball, he wanted to try to cut that five yeah. over into the seven. It's a beautiful shot when it goes. Now we noticed on that last shot quickly, David. The ball was in the gutter, came out, made contact with the pin that negates the fill of the pin. Correct. Because the ball is in the gutter. It's really Correct. Good. Okay. Kevin up now. Dan came back with a. Yep. Now he has the one pin. Now he had. Kevin. Now that's you. You call it. You said they were up against one another in the pro league on Friday nights. Yeah. They know one another. Now the discussion to they bowling, what happened. They've been bowling he's, against each other. And, Kevin's and, probably still talking about the spread eagle, but you know he's got to get it out of his head. All right, he's in the ninth <laughs> box. He's in the foundation box. Of ice. That's how you wreck a rack. That's what he wanted. But once again, he goes from a spread eagle to a strike. And that's the uniqueness of that, Candlepin right. bowling. And that is the mindset of a pro Candlepin bowler. Keep Every box is a different box. box that's right. Get yeah. that one out of your oh, mind. No. He knew it, threw the two up, knew he was throwing it. What do we got? The half whister. Yo, he knew it. But you've always said it's a makeable spare. Anytime the head pins shot. up, this is my legal. personal favorite right. shot, right? When here. it goes, it's pretty. Let's see what happens. Oh, maybe the oh. five pin standing all by itself. Just left the king pin. That stubborn king pin just there. But well, nothing wrong with a nine fill on the strike. Pin. Absolutely not. He, he wants I'd to take get it this. any day of the week. If he gets this five pin for the ten box, he's got twenty nine two, which is excellent bowling. That's a one forty five. If he doesn't, if the same for every two boxes. Doesn't matter with Kevin, he's always zero. Oh, dropped it right, thought he had it, but. Capped that piece of deadwood. Yeah. Okay, here's Shoe. 
up at the last two. We're gonna be working on his spare. Oh, he wants to fill this. He wants it. He you needs it. <laughs> Yo, know, it's um. I love this game. Yeah. There, there, there's nothing Not better. better. There's nothing better. There's the head pin shot. Oh, fall, fall, fall. Oh, oh, we, oh nice spare. Oh, Look this at is that a wood. beautiful lead. Oh. Uh oh, I don't know now. The woods roll. Oh no, roll no, back. Roll up against right. the pin. Roll up and freeze against the wood. Anything, is, the anything can happen with this, but I think it's a done deal. Oh! oh, 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 so oh look at this! Look at, look at you! He can't believe David. What happened? Oh, I thought. This oh was my a done goodness! Deal. You called it. You said it was a done deal. It looked It's to me the like uniqueness it. of Candle Pin Bowler. We never know what's going to happen. The astonishment of Shu. Yeah, he got that. He had that. What look are they on his doing face. to the poor man? He got his look on his face. What an excellent nope. replay, though, showing what happened. Yeah. You just never know where that wood's going to do or go. Yeah. Oh, my some, goodness. Some people like playing with wood, others don't. The perfect and, shot for a spare. <laughs> he's on the head pin again. Oh, he's looking And he leaves a 10 pin. For a spare. He's need to, he needs to tempt for the spare here. He wants it. It would have been very nice if he made up that two, made that two pinner. So he's got to leave this wood alone and go right at the ten. I pin. think he's got to go right. If you one, see it, go at it. The Don't ten play pin, around with this wood. The ten pin alone, better known as the corner of the building shot. Oh, and all over it. All over it. Nice shot. No. Nice shot. Well, I showed some confidence in. Came back after getting I'm, robbed. My personal, my personal terminal. He got robbed on that spare. Yeah, he got How it robbed. happened, who knows? But it's can open bowling. And everybody knows that's ever seen you bowl. If that would have happened to you, you oh, would scream at the top of your lungs. I would have gone down, jumped in the good the national league or something. But all right, he's filled it with eight. No, oh, he's got nine, maybe ten. Come on, knock over the eight pin. Nice, nice way to finish off the oh, tenth yeah. box. Nothing with a spare with nine. Kevin Padrington, 119. The King of the Palace, Dan Gauthier, 121. Excellent candle pin bowl. I'm telling you, these guys are even. You are, right, yeah, you call them. I'm looking forward competition. to this. I'm looking forward to this next match. Oh, let's see what happens. Shoe leads it off. There's the determination, the three-step approach. The drop, a little wide left. He's left the four horsemen right, along with the nine pin. Is that a Cleary? Uh, no, that's no. not on the clear. Oh, it has to be the eight pin up. That's right. Correct. That's correct. correct. Just trying to check my notes of what we came up with a couple of weeks ago. Yo, Thank wanna, you for correcting me. Not a problem. I want to give you a, a, a shout out to um, a viewer that's been watching in Pencil, Pennsylvania, Allentown. Oh, yeah. Um, well, the viewers come from everywhere for Candle Pin Bowling, yep. right? He's Jonathan Mosbach. Yeah. You know, called, talked to him last week. Um, yeah. You know, nice guy. Loves the show. Well wishes to his mom, who's in the hospital from a ailment. Well, hopefully and, um, she gets better. And gets better. Yeah, to watch. Know, he wants to come up and give it a shot. Yeah. And, you know, he gave me nightmares when he said he wanted to see you in your your bowling attire. I don't know what the guy's thinking, man. The, the flag pants bowling attire. The flag pants. Oh that's God, that's world no. famous. Everybody knows about that. All right, here's yeah, the shoe. That's that's, shoe. that's in its own horror <laughs> show right there. Here's the shoe up. Oh no. Half whisker. Oh, he starts off with. A, uh, a four horsemen with a, the nine pin now follows it with a half Worcester half, to the oh, right. Man, Stay with the, me. Half Worcester to the right. Right, he's disappointed. This Very is a beautiful good. shot though when it goes. Some people like the left side of the head pin. My personal favorite, I like the right side of the head pin. Just like that. Oh, now look at this. He's got eight pins up. He hits one, and what happens? He gets one pin. He look at the replay. He didn't want to hurt it. That's all it was. Look what he's left with. Dan is a good humanitarian. Well, yes, I have talked to him. I have interviewed you know, him. Yes, he didn't want to hurt the pin. He just gave it a little kiss. That's all it was. Yo, very disappointing start. Very, very disappointing with that six box. <laughs> you know, Kevin's favorite shot is actually the 5-7. Oh. Like, yeah. You know, his, his exact quote, looks great when you make it. No, okay. That, that, and we you, saw Shu have that 5-7, okay. and he wanted to make that cut. Yeah. He hit it, hit it full head on. Well, so. we know, David, your favorite shot is the... Uh, is the half whisker when you make it. My favorite shot, everybody knows, is, you know. The spread eagle. The spread eagle. I, mean, I thought that was your least favorite shot. Well, either one. They what is your it. favorite shot? I got to go with just the five pin. I love hitting the king, the king pin for a spare. That's it? Yeah. I like the five pin. Okay. Kevin. Oh, no. Oh. Right around it. Even. Oh. Wow. Right hey, around it. Did you saw Kevin's. There it goes. Out of the pin. 
Now, how tall is the pin? What, what, what is oh, it? no dimensions oh, no. here. Okay. No dimensions. How does Come that on. pin? Because what's no. going to happen is even if you're a half a centimeter off, people are going to bash you. No, it's fine. I want to say. But I will mention one thing quickly for the bowlers who are maybe just tuning in for the first time, a little conscientiousness about the reality, about the, about the widths and depths. The gutters we see in the sides of five inches. You better inches get across. it right. Five inches across, four and a half inches. Oh, oh another half quarter. worcester. Another half worcester. Two out of four boxes, both on the right side. Kevin, thank you for that because it got him off of that whole dimensional thing that it's like fifth dimensional only Steve talk. He found, oh, he found the little, head pin. A little full oh, on the head pin. Well, he can come out of this with a 10. There's nothing wrong with a 10 box if you lead it off with a, with a half worcester. Yo. I want to mention again that the Twin City Challenge is underway. Yep. We have until you have until March 16th. Nice pickup for the 10, yep. Kevin. You have until March 16th to qualify either New Palace Lanes here in Fitchburg, Mass, or Mason's Bowling Center in Lumberstrom. It's a $40 entry fee, and you get to bowl 10, your best 10 total scratch, and then if you make the A or B division, do that call away. Oh, Michael, he's disappointed with that. No yep. doubt about it. Rough start for the shoe. A divisions yeah. are hold here. B divisions are hold at, held at Masons. Masons, if, yep. Yo, know, you have a shot at making either side, and the uh, other ten are free. Oh, good. So, okay. well, and, there's, and there's some pretty good prizes in it. So, yep. if you, you want a good challenge and you're up for ten, then come on down well, and give it a shot. You're, you're going to be doing. You. You're, you're going to be doing yours very I'm shortly. Throw, I'm, I'm going to throw my hand at it as Evan has done his. Look at this. Oh, no. No, no. What? How three does that balls, happen? And three, he hit one pin out each time. Three balls, three pins, lumberjacket. What is going on here? How does that happen? I have no idea, but that was just lumberjacket. Did you see that last one? He's got to put it out of his head. Well, he needed the head pin. He's left. Oh, okay. He's got a favorable, favorable spare. He needs this. He's got to get out of this. One, two, four. A little bit of a funk he's into. Well, I'm going to be doing my Twin City next week, so my Twin City Challenge bowling, so we'll see what happens. Steve, will you be wearing the proverbial flag shorts? I may. I may take them out of retirement. It all depends. Uh, or, or are you going to sport the King of the Palace, how does that happen shirt? Depends on how I feel that day. Oh. Just do me a favor. Yeah, what's just, that? Just don't sour that nice shirt with those flag shorts. Okay, fine. All right? Okay. I'll make you a promise. I'll make the promise to travel, so I'll make it there with everybody and all my friends in Tuesday Night League Bowling. Okay. And everybody in viewing land. Okay, Kevin's oh, thank up. Thank yeah, the world. Okay, here comes Kevin. The big back swing. He needs to... Oh. And he does it again. What is going on here? Kevin is having this half. Are these guys? Marathon. Are they going to Worcester? Is uh, there something going on? Travis, is there something going on in Worcester we don't know about? This guy. This be. is unbelievable. Well, you know what? Kevin Bowling was invented in Worcester, Mass. That's right. Now he's left the same two pins as he did in the box before this. Yep. In other words, he's thrown the same ball he's got that twice. Piece of wood. Three and th this is unbelievable. He's got that piece of wood in front of the six. Oh this my be an goodness! Easy pick up. Oh, oh he threw the ball away. <laughs> he didn't make contact with the dead Kevin, one. Kevin, what were you thinking? Thinking. Well, one pin's one pin. It can add up. Yeah, but he had an easy ten, and uh, oh my goodness! Everybody has done once in their life an easy ten and becomes a nine or an eight. An eight. Oh, he wants Block to. it out. Okay, he's found it. Come on, look at this, look out. Look at this, look at oh, there, there it is. is. Now that's how you come back. That you throw a, a hammer. Slow motion and strike. Watch this. Look at this excellent replay the by The nine pin, the last one, the, the wiggle, ball. wiggle, fall. There it is. Better known in Caleb and Bowling as the. Oh, uh, the Julian. The Julian, right. A slow motion. Oh, excuse strike. me, the Jules. The Jules, okay. Look at this. Oh, the shoe was really struggling. He's having a real bad. Real bad half. Five on the deck. First half, yeah. It's a makeable spare. Dude. One, three, five, nine, and eight. He's got to drill the head pin. He's got to, he's got to make caught. Oh, no, he's wide up. He, left, he, the, left the finger of God. The shoe just looks like he's laboring. He's, it's a lot of bowling this yeah. King's got to do. A lot of pressure. Well, he's the, that's right. He's the defending champion. He wants it back as the sign in the background says it's the King of the Palace tournament. He got to keep throwing. That's all there is to it. Yo, he got a lot of recognition from his kids. From you know. Sure, he's walking kids, around everywhere. He's got the, the king of the palace crown on him. He's proud crown. of it. 
proverbial. Oh, he's proud of it. I'd be proud of it. You'd be proud of it. Yeah. Travis would be proud of it if we win it. That's what it's all about. Now he throws a nice ball into the one-two pocket. He gets the triangle. The so it's nine ten. No three. Three, three five, five six. six triangle. Very difficult spear. Very difficult spear. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. He needed. The, he needed. Yeah. He knows it. He knows he's off. Even though the left the three six, it's made maybe 30, 40 percent of the time. It's still oh, a very difficult shot. Comes the percentages. Well, you knew I was going to get it in there sooner or later. Fifty okay. percent of the time, right? No, really, a little less than that. Really? I, no, I'm not going to get into it. How you made it? Really? You challenged me. You won fair and square. You did it what five out of ten. You made fifty percent. All right, enough. End and the discussion. You, okay. Put it to end bed. It to, okay, here comes Kevin. Kevin now, working on a strike. David, I, I got a little thought after. Steve, anything that comes out of your mouth with a little thought is never little. There it is! There's there it is! Double There's strike. the double! He wrecked the rack. The first there, one. Oh, oh, he, he, strike. oh, he just obliterated. You said it. He no. ripped the rack. No, wrecked the oh, rack. Oh, wrecked. Okay, ripped the rack. Whatever. Look at our uh, true Doesn't uh, matter. What a beautiful strike. What a beautiful replay by Travis. I'm going to start plugging Tyler. I tripped. Oh, oh. He's, he, he's on. Leaves the two, the four, and the ten with a piece of wood up against the two. Oh, what difference was that, Bob, between the other two that you got the strikes on? Uh, I don't know. It just How does that happen? He threw a beautiful ball. That's, well, that's why there's never been a perfect game. That's all. Goals, there never Steve. will be. There never will be. Oh, no, no. He so, what is this, so what is this miraculous thought that you had well, coming through your brain? If that we you're going to, like, drive me crazy. No, after the Travis foul line. it. Make no, the comment, no, 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 no. Make the people we all know that you have to throw the ball. 60 the, feet down the alley. Yeah, but after the foul line, there's a lob line at 10 feet. Correct. I've been thinking, what if we move that lob line up to 15 feet? What do you think? Would it be a hindu or help? A wow. determinant? How close is it now? It's 10, it's 10 feet from the foul line. I so want it's 15 feet? No, yeah, go uh, to 50. What do you think? Because a lot of bowlers do tend to have an outstretch. I've been watching a lot of bowlers, David. I really seriously dwell into this. I watch it. But approaches. if you change the dimension, you change the game. Yeah, I suppose you got a point there. You could say that. Yes, no. I never thought of it that why, way. Why? If it's not broke, why? Yeah, all right. Okay. He just, he's laboring poor, poor shoe, the defending champ is losing it here. I'll agree. You know okay. what's going to happen, don't you? He got, with a nine box there. Okay, you know what's well, going well, to happen? People are going to turn around and start saying, really, Steve? You want to change that dimension? No, no, I don't want it. It's just a thought. These things occur to me. Pitch out, found it. Okay, he's got this. Come on, follow him. Hit the darn nine pin and give him a strike. Oh, Jesus, look at this. Hey, something tells me that you're starting to play favorites here. No, I want to put me we're in supposed to be, We're supposed to be impartial. Right? Impartial, but here. No, now there again. There Bro, again. It, look at this. He hits the wood. Excuse me, David. It's like that two pinner he had. The wood. What happened? No. Killed him. It shot him in the foot. Picked up the nine all over it like white on rice. Oh, I'm, candle pin ball. Where else but candle pin ball? You've got to be I, impartial, Steve. I know. You can't I, play favorites in this I know. I, I, I okay. plead guilty. Travis, I plead guilty. Okay, here comes Kevin. If anybody's playing favor, it's me. I'm just saying. Well, sometimes you do over. I am do over. favor. We, we, you know, you I'm a legend over. in my own mind. In your own mind. Oh, oh David, look David, at this. this. you got two sets of... Uh, Two sets of two pins and the three, six, four, seven with some wood. Maybe we'll start calling this aces and eights. Because it's a pretty it. tough shot. Oh, yes. Very difficult. Dead Ace man's hand. I like Aces that. And eights. Any like double that. Uh, two pin spare. Uh, uh, oh, other than, three, six, other than, four, seven. Yeah, other than the double P knuckle or the clip wound. Drew juice for everyone. We'll call it aces and eights. Good yeah, I like it. I like, that. That. I like people with original thoughts like me when I come up with these things. Wait a minute. You what do you mean original thoughts? I thought everything was research. Yeah, and some is some is original. Okay, you like that? I like the tenth, the, the, moving the log line to. Oh, there oh there's it is. a bomb. There's a bomb. Oh, he's found it. Drilled that head pin. Hell, there's no question. Oh, the, Kevin is actually opening up. Oh yeah, the, sh the shoes. Shoot. It's, it's, it's shoe. I know not it's shoe. the I shoe. Know. He's been the champ for a while now. Okay, it's shoe, not the shoe. Yeah, I know. You corrected me. I stand corrected. He won it last last month as shoe. Shoe. Yet again, you say the shoe. I've only said it twice. You say it every time. No, I haven't. I've been conscientious of it, not saying it. There's that word again. Conscientious. Conscientious. Oh, he almost made it. That was a tough spin. Ah, uh, he thought he had, he had it. it. Yeah, he wanted to go out with a. 
A nice yeah, I thought it was going to go too. Look at it's that. It's wiggled. It's wobbling. Travis showed it to us. The pin made contact. The dead wood made contact. Do you think the thing would fall down? How no. Do get, how it do stands get, up. Steve, how do you get your voice that high? I try to raise the octave, I guess. That's called the octave means voice and sound. Ah, octave. 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 O -C -T -A -E. octave. No, octave. It's a long it's age because it's, no, it's octave. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Every time you raise another octave, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. My ears start splitting. Oh, okay. I'll I'll I'll, I'll tell him that. I can understand that. You know, it's if that's a, a physical ailment that I'm inflicting upon my partner. I'll take it away from. Physical okay. ailment. Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay. The shoe's left with. Uh, he's it's left with shoe. the shoe. It's shoe, not the shoe. He's left with the baby split. Nope. Didn't get Here's it. the 10 pin. It's, Leaves the say it with me. Shoe. shoe. Well, shoe finish with a very, very disappointing string. He knows and after it. that, he just lost. This lost it. That happens. The king's been the throne. Yeah. He's Kevin awesome. is just working yeah. on, you know, <laughs> filling it up. He's working on a strike. He doesn't want to lose his approach. He still wants his concentration. Yeah. Hey, let's see if he can't throw a double on this and put in a couple extra. Now he's going to be on. going into the final round for the king. Let's see yeah. what happens. He he found it. Oh, now look at this. Uh, he's left what? The, the three, three, six, ten, and the nickel. Five pin. Where are you going to go? Left side or right side of the three? No, he missed it. He had to get the three pin. Yeah. Okay. He filled the strike with an eight. Wants to end the string with a ten box. You go out as the. Well, everybody's been trying to defend. Oh! Feet shoe, and finally Kevin Paddington has done it. He yep. has beaten, 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 excuse me, Dan. Well, the king of the palace. There's going to be a new king of the palace. That's right, the king of the palace is Next week, there's going to be a new king. Reigning king was dethroned. Excellent bowling by Kevin Paddington. Great bowling for Dan. Yep. You know, congratulations, Dan, for being the former king. And now look at this. All Steve. good reigns must come look to at, an end. Look at this. He's thrown the same leaf on the opposite side of the lane. Well, that's because it's the opposite side. I know. But once again, how does that happen? It's the opposite side. He threw that one on the right-hand side on the on three. What I'm saying is on, he's, he's on thrown three. the ball. So it's he, the mirror image of it. It's all. It's alley okay. four. He throws the, the ball, and he's lost six pins on it. Okay, we're all done. It was very disappointing. Kevin Paddington, 127. Dan, a disappointing 82. But you know what? It was a great match, great bowling by both. Okay, looking at the final recapitulation of the oh, of Recapitulation. The oh. <laughs> First string, 119 for Kevin Paddington. Dan, 121. Match number two, Kevin Paddington, 127. Dan, an 82. Total, 246 for Kevin, 203 for Dan. Five strikes for Kevin, one strike for Dan. One spare for Kevin and three spares for Dan. Well, as the scoreboard shows, the strikes really made the difference, the double strike. His good fills. Next week, we have a new king. Right, that's right. He got defeated. We'll have a new king next week. Absolutely correct.